So last week, our topic was when things aren't going your way. And the message that I had for you all was that we need to trust in God's plan for us and hope for better times. Uh, it's a very general summary of what I was talking about last week. Um, but there is kind of another question that sort of comes from this, which is, well, okay, what, what about when things just keep going negatively in that sort of way? What if, what if, the, what if things don't get better? Um, and that, I think, is a question we ask ourselves whenever we're in difficult times very often, especially if those difficult times uh, feel like they're just not going to end, that there's no clear end in sight. Um, and it's very natural to kind of think that. And feel that. Uh, and it's this time, uh, you know, I've personally found that, you know, when you hear a verse like uh, the verse, in, uh, you know, Proverbs 3, uh, 5 through 6, uh, you get very, um, you know, a little bit offended almost. <laughs> like, it, especially when it's something that's told to you by individuals who aren't necessarily going through what you're going through, it, it can kind of feel like a bit of a slap in the face because. You know, it, it just doesn't feel that way. You know, it, it really, you know, when those difficult times just keep on going, it feels like it's never going to end and that God is against you and that this there is no real greater plan in your life. And uh, that that's, I think, something that we need to kind of embrace as a part of a human experience. Um, now, with that being said, I think it's also important to remember that our perspective is very limited, uh, especially on our own lives. And God's perspective is not. Um, C.S. Lewis describes God and kind of his interpretation of time as being similar to a piece of paper with a line drawn on it. Uh, the piece of paper touches every point of that line. But if you put, take, like, say, a pencil and place it on one spot on that line, well, you're only touching one part. Uh, it's the same thing with us. God, being eternal, is able to see what is coming, what is going to happen, uh, and kind of the resolution to everything we're experiencing, whereas we aren't able to see that and aren't able to experience that. And so it's really easy in difficult times to get kind of this tunnel vision and think that, you know, things absolutely won't get better, uh, even when personal experience and the experience of others tells us otherwise. And, you know, when that sort of thing happens, I do think we still need to take the work uh, to just kind of remember that point and keep on hoping. Uh, that is the most important thing. You know, it, the reality is, is that nothing is ever going to get better if you constantly think that it's not going to get better. <laughs> That's just kind of the reality of the situations. Whereas, on the other hand, if you just keep hoping that things are better, at least there's a chance that you'll feel better. Uh, so I think that that is something that is important to keep in mind as we're going, is, you know, anybody might be going through something uh, you, yourself as well. And, and on the flip side as well, for anybody who ever is giving that kind of advice, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, keep in mind that it is natural to feel that way at that sort of point. You know, you don't want to get into the tendency of trying to push people when they're feeling a certain way to try and feel a different way and treat their own feelings as if they're illegitimate, which that's not the case. Um, so that is really all I have for you this week. I, I hope that you found it helpful out there. Uh, so we have one more song for you all, and I invite you all to join me as we sing this last song.